This is part six, and it's the last in the video series of the Red Dead Redemption Sheriff's Office. And you can see the thumbnail parts right here. We did it in five parts plus this one. I'll be showing you some renders in this video. But here's the overall timeline, and what was different about this series is that I pretty much started with textures almost right from the beginning. I mean, in part one, we did uh, a lot of the block out, but by part two, we were already putting textures in. We did this pretty much all in Blender. Um, I made a couple of textures in Substance Painter and uh, made them available for you to apply in Blender, but I didn't go into Substance Painter with the model itself. I just put those textures uh, on a plane so you could use it just like a typical image map. All right, so I'm gonna go through some of what I did here. Uh, step one through five, really. The modeling was all done in Blender. Uh, the texturing was basically all put together and you know 99 percent of it was done in blender uh, the render is in blender cycles and uh, for the environment i decided i would do a small environment i did not do much but i used the sky texture in blender cycles um, i have some point lights in the lamps there are two uh, kerosene lamps one on the front one on the back there's an area light at the back and I did some vegetation using the bag of pie uh, modifier, which is free, and some free uh, plant models as well. But I did not put uh, clouds in the sky and a setting sun or anything like that. All right, the main thing was to get the model and to adequately light it. And that's really all I wanted to do and all I have time to do in this series. Again, this was a request, and so I wanted to keep it relatively straightforward and not too long. We're already looking at six parts here. And then I take those renders and I do some post-processing. So I, a little bit in the Blender compositor. And really all I did there was added the glare effect. All right. And uh, then I would do a little bit of sharpening in GIMP, sometimes curves. That's really it. And then in Topaz Studio was also very minimal. I, I might have done a little bit of cropping and um, a little bit of desaturating. I wanted it desaturated although i think one of the images is quite saturated i was just interested in that effect so there's not a lot of stuff going on there it's mostly from the render itself so let's have a look at some renders now this particular one i admit i did do uh, more post-processing because i wanted this kind of old photography kind of vintage look but here you can see we're looking at the left side of the building you can see the walkway back here there's one of those oil lamps or kerosene lamps and, you know, you can see that I've just got it on a, a circular ground plane with the material on the ground plane and some a little bit of vegetation as if uh, it's a sort of an unkempt uh, area and the vegetation is beginning to grow up. But uh, I've got a sky here, but I do not have clouds. So let's look at some other renders. All right, as you can see, I don't have clouds. So I was not focusing on a big environment with mountains in the background or anything. I just wanted to light it, and really the lighting comes from the sky texture, aside from there's another kerosene lamp there. So there's a, a kind of a front kind of perspective, 45 degrees on with the jail cell here and uh, all of the rest of the stuff along with the vegetation. It was looking a little bare without something in there. But I think the textures worked out relatively nicely and the modeling, it wasn't too difficult to do. It didn't take us too long because we were doing modeling and texturing at the same time. I mean, I could have spent uh, in my typical series six or seven videos to model something. And then, you know, then you got to unwrap and texture and everything. And that's another couple. So I think we did pretty well. So, I mean, there's just a number of different angles to look at this from. Um, and there's not that much detail uh, really in it so I'll kind of skim through these just to give you an idea of what it looks like this would be one of my favorite shots just from from the front showing the front uh, patio or deck or porch I guess porch area it, it was suggested that maybe I have some wanted posters and I was thinking of doing some bullet holes and some grunge but again I wanted to keep it relatively brief and to the point uh, because the individual who asked if I would do this I think was you know somewhat of a beginner and uh you know i didn't want to go crazy with everything i just wanted a, a little bit of of modeling and a little bit of the shader editor so that it wouldn't be overwhelming 
Um, and again, in re realistically speaking, I would do a lot of work in substance painter, which is ideal for stuff like this. And of course, substance designer for creating your own wood and your own metals. And, and this, which I, I'm sure uh, was originally created in substance designer and then uh, poured it over to substance painter or saved in uh, even just from designer as texture and made available. And so, uh, you know, you can do a lot, a lot more work outside of Blender and then use it in Blender. But I wanted to keep it to Blender for the most part. And that's what we did. So here's another shot sort of looking like it's early morning or, or evening. Okay, showing a lot of the same stuff. Um, I was asked about this text up here, and I think I'm going to need to do that in another video. Uh, essentially, all I did was I created the text in another graphics program using a Western font that I downloaded. So it said Sheriff. And I brought that in and I plugged it in the shader editor into the base color. But I also have a grunge texture that I plugged in that goes uh, in with a mix RGB and I think into the alpha channel. And moving that around causes the letters to only come through at certain places. So I can do a quick video on that another time. All right, just a view from the back. Of course, we've got the sun over here. So I just wanted it coming off the edge. And I think I probably have a couple of those just for a stylized view. Um, yeah, another one from close up. Um, you know, you never know until you get to the final render exactly what your textures are going to look like. A lot of people will have a render window open without actually rendering, but just the rendering going on in the background and they can make adjustments. You know, you could adjust the color and the contrast and stuff. And, you know, something to think about. I don't mind this wood, uh, but uh, whatever. And then again, keep in mind, this is this is just a, a flat texture. It's not real planks. So, uh, you know, it's going to have that kind of look. Same thing goes for the bricks. But I mean, if you're just doing a, a static render and you're not... Uh, you're not going for hyper realism then uh i think i think it turned out uh, acceptable and this one is is got a little bit more contrast to it i just wanted something that sort of uh you know popped out a little bit more all right so there's that and here's one uh looking towards the sun uh, along the, the the front porch I think the textures look quite nice for uh, an image-based texture. It looks looks quite realistic. All right, we're looking at those back stairs. Okay, I showed you how I created the stairs, but I also put this piece there. We've got some supports back there and and all of that. So really, there's quite a lot of wood in uh, in this in this whole series. And uh, you know, as long as you have decent wood textures. And uh, I think it, it comes out, you know, reasonably nice. And, of course, putting a, some vegetation in there uh, really makes it more realistic. All right, that's just, that was just for fun. Um, I just liked it because I wanted it kind of blown out and, and kind of yellowish. And I wanted to see the grain in the wood and just see how that would how that would look. There are a few funny spots in there. You can pick them out, I'm sure. I don't want to point them out, but uh, yeah, just for fun. And I believe that's probably the final, the final image. All right, so uh, once again, uh, I'm happy to do requests when I can. This was a, a fun project, and I haven't really done a lot of Western town kind of buildings, so I, I enjoy doing that and uh, doing the, the, the textures uh, right from the right from the start for you. So uh, if you've uh, gone ahead and, and done a model and textured it as well, I hope it I hope it turned out nice and I hope the series was uh, either inspirational to you or helpful or, or got you motivated to do it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to doing uh, more of these kind of things too down the road. So thank you so much uh, if you've persevered through the whole series. Congratulations. And uh, we're gonna move on to other stuff. So we will see you in the future. Take care.